It's pretty wild. One time I was flying coach pre-pandem, obviously, and this guy was like looking at me, he kept looking at me, and he's like, Chloe? Chloe? And I realized he was talking to me and he said, oh, why are you why are you flying coach? Aren't you set for life? So a couple of things. My name isn't Chloe, but okay. Also rude, you know, aren't you set for life? Who? You're not supposed to ask somebody that, but you must be wondering what is happening. Whatever happened to Mary Lynn Rice Cup? I got that Twitter too. <laughs> that lady who goes, well, um, do you miss acting? <laughs> I was like, bitch, I never stopped acting. <laughs> oh, but people, they do wonder about you, you know? Like you can Google me and it'll tell you how much it thinks, it thinks I'm worth. You know, it's like 17, 18 mil or something like that. So you're wondering, did I make a lot of money working on that show? And the answer is, yeah, I did. Okay. I made a lot of money. And also I spent that money. Spent it. It's pretty easy to do. You know, it costs money to live. It's just, you just spend it. And it wasn't that much. It was a lot for me because I'm a woman. Deal with it, guys. These are the issues. Yeah, women get paid less. Uh, yeah, so it was a lot for me. Oh, 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 more so because I'm from Trenton, Michigan. And shout out. Down River, Michigan, south of Detroit. And nobody taught me how to have money or save money or how to spend money or not spend money. When you're from Trenton, Michigan, they don't... No one thinks you're gonna be an international superstar. You don't get prepped for that, okay? I was expected to work at Panera Bread. Okay, I just made myself way younger. There was no Panera Bread when I was growing up. I was expected to work at Blockbuster Video, and that's it. You call it a day. That's how we do in Trent, Michigan. We are very uh, humble, hardworking, you get a job, I don't even think I was expected to go to college, really. So, um, yeah, it's a big deal. And they could smell it on me in Hollywood, too. You know, they could smell it on me. They're like, are you, were you a lost boy? Is your father Donald Sutherland? Were you engaged to Julia Roberts? We didn't think so. So they gave me a piece of paper and it was a contract for like 3,000 bucks. And I was like, <laughs> all at once? That's a lot of money. That's more than minimum wage. Let's go. Um, and then they gave me another piece of paper that said, can we have your likeness in perpetuity? I know, in all, in all galaxies. And I just signed it. Cause what do I need that for? All right, and that was back when your likeness meant something. Like there was still actual privacy back then. You know, it was still like, can you believe reality TV? Remember those days? It was like uh, when Facebook first came out, pre-Facebook, and then it went. Remember when Facebook first came out, and it was like, oh, don't like post your personal life if your boss sees that. You know, and then a few years later, it's like, um. Could you? We're gonna need you to do some sort of a sex act to camera. Cause we just need more likes if you're gonna be the branch manager at Wells Fargo. Yeah, we're gonna need you to. 